am so happy. I love K-pop. Lyle, Lyle, wake up! You gotta wake up, please! Lyle, Lyle, turn on the TV! They hit the Pentagon! They hit the fucking <laughs> Pentagon! Diane! Diane, are you there? Diane, I need you. Why did you call me? Diane, you're gonna save me, right? Sorry, just choking. And then he went on to say, like, I can't even remember what he went on to say. Oh, sorry, one second, I'm just having a way. Yeah, but I couldn't even tell you. Like, I can't even remember what he said. I'm taking Bebop to the K-pop store today. I'm so happy. I love K-pop. There's this filter that's going around showing you what you would look like with lip filler, with no makeup on, just juicy lips, and everyone's deciding whether or not they're going to get lip filler because of it. So let's try it out. All right, ready? Wait. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. Jeremy Stacy Jenny mom. <gasps> How can I only have four friends? And one of them's my mom. Watching the sex life with college girls and then falling in love with Layden immediately and then finding out that she was gay in the show and then finding out the person that plays Layden is actually gay, Renee Rapp, I'm in love with you, hello? And then finding out Renee Rapp makes amazing gay lesbian music and finding out that she's dating Toa Bird, another lesbian artist? And then finding out that Renee Rapp, a real life lesbian, is playing Regina George, a girl who should have been lesbian in Mean Girls from the very start? <laughs> Behind me. Baby, the only thing I see when I look behind me is 50 pounds of ass! <laughs> okay, make sure it's on low. The true. Oh. Um. No. That's me if I gave a fuck, but girl. <laughs> Christina, do you want some water? <laughs> Somebody save me! Okay, make sure it's on low. I told you we needed more glitter. Um, I hate that you can't see my damn jewelry with this fucking shirt on! Exactly. 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 She already knows stuff right now. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I just... Tom's house was broken into and he confronted the burglar and then had to go have eye surgery and... Absolute waste of time. So fucking boring. Jesus. Action man. Who the hell is that? Oh my god, no, it's John Wick. Guess where it is. Oh, this is how you show that you're in a different tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is it this one? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> wait, I guess. Wait, that's so fancy too. The paper towel. <laughs> this is mama, mama, mommy. Can you say mama? This is. Father, father, this is Fabian Amos Gilbert, yeah, this is Mama's husband. I would say probably four minutes. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like,
<laughs> no. Who is this? Leave me alone! Damn it! <laughs> it is so bad, I want to give you a zero. But that's not possible. So I give you a one. You're gone? Yes! Alright, no, nah, alright. You know, she has some problems for sure, but I think it's important to just. She's look also at. ugly. Well, okay, no, I don't think that that was necessary. Okay, make sure it's all low. That's my wedding dress. That one? No, down there. Oh. But I've still got to get it taken in. I'm swimming in it. So apparently my eardrums are so petite, I can actually pick up on radio frequencies. Oh, really? Oh, not this song again. Hey, I gotta go. I just don't like the look of this rain. I just cannot get washed down another drain. Okay. Who is Duffy? <sighs> Duffy is my muse and he also runs the cult that I'm um in. Everyone is human. Everyone has feelings, emotions, goes through things, feels happy, feels sad. We all deserve the same respect. One. Blocked. I'm gonna have to like bring you down to earth for a sec. There is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. Okay. Bear with me, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. If you don't believe in astrology, if you think star signs are fake, explain to me why we've all been personally victimized by a Libra. Okay, make sure it's on low. Hi, this is Brittany, 12 hours before my shift. 12 hours after my shift. Baby, if I was a worm, would you still love me? Yes, and I would still kiss you too. Really? Yes, I love you. I love you more. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> stop, stop. Um, guys, can you turn it down a bit? Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. They finally opened that pizza place around the corner. They did? Yeah, and I heard it's the best pizza in town. No way. And get this, I have a secret code that we can use to get our first order for free. What, what's the code? What? Baby, you're so smart. You're smarter. So... So, what's, what's the code for the pizza? Go ahead, have a seat. Make yourself at home. Just be warned of my cat, Lucy. Yeah, she's so devious. She hates anyone that isn't me, so I wouldn't even sit next to her if I were you, just for your own safety. Aw, oh, cats love you? Mm -hmm, yeah, well, not my Lucy. She hates everyone. I wouldn't recommend petting her either. You're gonna anyways? Okay. Well, just be warned, like I said. She's a little monster, right? Mommy's little monster. <laughs> she's purring. No, it's probably just her growling. Yeah, you're mistaken. No, seriously, stop petting her. I'm serious, stop petting her. She doesn't like it, clearly. She's not purring, she's hissing, okay? Sorry, you don't know anything about cats. Lucy, Lucy, mommy's over here, sweetie. She probably just thinks you're me. Did you by any chance roll around in catnip earlier? That would be the only explanation as to why she's acting like this. Lucy, Lucy? She probably just can't hear me because you're breathing so loud. If you could just stop breathing. Lucy. Lucy. See, you're scaring her. I think you should leave. It's best for the both of us. You're really throwing off the vibe and the energy and you're throwing off her pH balance. So I think you should go. It'd be best. What are your plans for today, baby? Oh, I don't know. I was maybe going to go hang out with like an old friend. An old friend? Oh my God, who? Julia. Julia is in your ex, Julia? Yeah, but it's fine. Like, we've been friends for, like, I don't know, a week now. You've been friends for a week and you haven't told me that you've been talking to your ex? Yeah, well, we have plans to, like, hang out, so I should probably go do that. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with this. Oh, why? Because you're hanging out with your ex? Yeah, but, babe, she used to literally be, like, my best friend. Like, that is my soul sister. Like, I'm so glad we've reconnected. No, like, I'm not okay with you 
going to hang out with your ex-girlfriend. Like, that is so wrong, and you haven't even told me about it. And I just thought it was something that I could just, like, I don't know, do myself. Like, you don't have to know every aspect of my life. I don't have to know every aspect of your life. You can have some privacy, but if we're in a committed relationship, you shouldn't be, like, organizing to hang out with your ex-girlfriend behind my back. You're literally being so crazy right now. Like, I'm not being crazy. I'm like, you. this would not be okay in a straight relationship. Why is it okay in this one? Bro, calm down. It's not even that deep. We're just going to go for lunch and go back to hers. You're going back to hers as well. Yes, calm down. I'm not okay with any of this. Wait, are you new? One sec. Zoe, Josh, come here. I'm trying to talk to her. Come here. What's your name? Ro re 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 ro it? it? I don't know how to say it. I thought she said rodent. I don't know how to say her name. I don't know how to say it. I'm just gonna call you Rachel. Like I don't know how to say it. Okay, well wait, so you're like brown or whatever? Oh, me? Oh. Oh, like I guess yes, I am technically. But like nobody ever guesses. <laughs> like everyone thinks I'm like white or like mixed with white. Like nobody ever thinks I'm like brown or whatever. But you're like you're really pretty for a brown girl. Like really, really, really pretty. Yeah. God, so Remember that one girl? Okay. So there's this one girl. I don't even know her name. Like I forgot how to say it. But anyway, so like she used to bring this food and oh my god, it smelled so bad. And then Josh he goes he goes like put it under the microscope, put it under the microscope. But like you look nothing like her, like you're really, really pretty. Like you look nothing like her. What are you doing later? Do you wanna hang out with us? Okay, well, if you change your mind, let me know. But by the way, like, just you. Like, can you not bring that girl you're always hanging out with? I don't want to be mean, she's like, she's like really flop. <laughs> okay, well, let me know if you change your mind. Okay, bye, Rachel. See ya. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Smells just like it did back when I went here. <sighs> I remember when I used to live here. <laughs> Are the, are the AC units still broken? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that Professor Smithson hanging? <gasps> He's so cozy! <laughs> like just last year that was me can't believe it was so long ago everything just looks so different <laughs> okay does anybody else have this problem I live with my boyfriend, Matt, and I just went on a three-day trip back home to Minnesota for my grandmother's funeral. Um, and I get home and the place is a mess. So I came walking up to the house and the front door was left wide open. <laughs> He's been at work for 12 hours. So I was like, oh my God, you're so silly that you left the front door to, of our house wide open. And then I like walked over to this main area of our house and there was like cat shit and piss all over the floor everywhere. And he actually dumped the cat litter out onto the floor. And so that's why the cat was like pooping and peeing on the floor. And so I texted him and I was like, why did you put the cat litter on the floor? And he was like, I didn't know where else to put it. And then I checked the bathroom and like, we ran out of toilet paper the day that I was leaving and I texted him and was like, hey, like I'm already on the way to the airport. Can you get more toilet paper? And I guess he just forgot. And so he smeared his shit all over the walls and the floor. And he used my bath towel to wipe his butt when he pooped. And so I texted him and I was like, Matt, why did you smear your poop everywhere? And he was like, well, we ran out of toilet paper. I didn't know what else to do. I don't know. This is just the reality of what living with men is like, I guess. He's silly.